An emergency town hall meeting will take place tomorrow night on the future of education in Boston. Our guest is one of the organizers, the campaign coordinator with the Boston Education Justice Alliance, Marlena Rose. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Marlena. Thank you for having me. People are concerned about quality, they're concerned about resources, uh, but start with justice. Why is that so important? It's important that all of our students in Boston Public Schools receive the best education possible and based on their learning abilities, whether they're English learning, English language, language learners, learners yes. uh, tongue twister, um, whether they're children with special needs, um, if they're gifted students. We want to make sure that all students are learning in the best possible environment. And so when we're talking about education justice, we're talking about all aspects of education from the condition of the school to having teachers have proper support to having students properly supported in their learning and, and equipment. Well you call this an emergency town hall. Um, what's driving that sense of emergency? Well there are a lot of things driving that sense of emergency. There are a lot of issues within the Boston public school system um, that are happening and it are decisions that are being made without the proper community input, uh, information, feedback. And what we're trying to do with this meeting is to just let the community, let parents, let students know exactly what is happening in terms of uh, the budget, some things that are happening with the budget. We're gonna be talking about um, unified enrollment and what that means to um, your options in terms of choosing a school. We're going to talk about things that the young folks are doing within the school, which is really important because there are a lot of great things that are happening there. And then we're going to give the community an opportunity to respond, give feedback, talk about actions that they could do within their own schools, and then what we can all do together to really put a great investment in public education. Well, uh, uniform uh, enrollment here, you know, this is, uh, you know, there's a one-stop place to apply to a district school or charter school and some other schools. Uh, you know, it was presented as a user-friendly tool, uh, but I guess there have been some concerns out there about what this could also entail. There are a lot of concerns about that. Um, I guess at first glance it looks like a good option, but actually your options will be limited um, with this unified enrollment. Um, if parents think that they have a better chance of getting into a charter school or a better public school, um, charter schools have the option to opt out of this enrollment. And so you might be thinking you have better opportunities and you might have less opportunities, but come to the meeting tomorrow night and find out more information about that. You mentioned uh, school climate um, uh, and uh, how are you going to address that? Because this seems to be something you go at not just with parents but with students themselves. Um, students are taking the lead on that. There's a great group uh, that's part of MassCosh, the I hope I say this right, yes. Massachusetts Coalition of Occupational and Safety Hazard. Uh, that are working on the conditions within schools, along with a, another group called Young Youth Organizers Uniting for the Now Generation. So they've been working for quite some time with evaluating what's happening in schools and, and really bringing uh, the conditions to the proper authorities. And then there's work within the BPS that is happening as well. Well, one other concern out there is uh, budget cuts. Uh, Boston is getting less money from the state, less money from the federal government. Uh, and, and there are expenses that keep increasing. So mm -hmm. I, I guess, is, is there a way people can deal with that maybe through this? Well, first you need to understand how the cuts are being made, what cuts are being made, how money is being distributed. Um, and I think we're gonna give an overview of that at the meeting tomorrow night. And then it's important to know that this is, what's happening is happening all across the country. And so Boston is joining into a national movement um, to improve the public education system and to really help parents have an understanding of what's happening so that we can all work together to make sure that we have a proper budget. Well, what's happening around the country is a lot of money is going into fostering growth in charter schools. That will bring some benefits, but I guess that the lesson here is that uh, if you want to make sure that the other educational needs are taken care of, I guess parents got to get out there and organize and push. Parents really need to understand how how money flows within the system. They need to understand that charter schools aren't everything that they are proposed to be. Not everyone benefits from a charter school. Not all students benefit. 
uh, charters serve a select amount of students and a select group of students. Charters aren't better, they just test better. Um, we are in no way opposed to any parent that chooses a charter school as the, the good choice for their child. Um, but we want to make sure that parents go in fully informed what it means to enroll your child in a charter school. And uh, for starters, uh, we should mention that the emergency town hall is taking place tomorrow night at Madison Park High School. Madison we'll Park, 6 to 8 at Curtis Hall. All right. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Marlena Rose. In a moment, we'll hear about state funding for legal aid.